how much maybe they helped you tonight because they, they were really loud. The crowd was phenomenal. And uh, I've been joking, you know, on my post game show or anytime I have a chance is that I'll beg, I'll plead, I'll uh, do anything I can to get people out to these games for a variety of reasons. They, I think, were a fun team to watch, but I also think we have kids that are fun to cheer for. They're good kids, they're good character kids, they represent Birmingham the right way, and um, hopefully we have an awesome crowd tomorrow. I joked with William, I, I said, you know, I, I was wondering if you were playing tonight because I, I didn't see you till about three minutes left. I tried to challenge him some as well, and uh, I, uh, he. He made a, obviously a big time three, and uh, he made a similar type shot to win a state championship game last year. And so I think he has pretty good vibes in this place right now. The uh, Brown game winner, is that the way it looked on the dry erase board, or is that a little freelance? I would love to take credit for that one. There's plenty of things I realistically could maybe take credit for, but that's not one of them. And what we did, it was a, it was a broken play, broken down situation. And it's uh, we've talked to our team a lot about trusting each other, believing in each other. Uh, Robert hasn't played his best basketball of late, but I've, he's close. and. Uh, he came in there, made a hard cut, got on the basketball. I think it was Hakeem got on the basketball, and we have confidence in him. Then we have confidence in everybody. Was, was, was there a part of that rim that that ball didn't touch? And, and what were your <laughs> what were your thoughts? Was it in slow motion for you? It was in slow motion. I mean, the last four minutes seemed to be in slow motion, and uh, a lot of big time plays. And I'm so proud of our guys. Just that it was gritty. It was real gritty. In baseball, you see a guy hit a, make a defensive play and then come in and hit a home run. Norton drains the three and then he gets the stop on the other end. How huge was that swing? Uh, it was big, and I was uh, felt like I was playing defense at the same time too, yelling, yelling at the officials to call the five seconds. But uh, Nick is a, a tough, tough kid, and uh, we designed that play to try and get him that shot. And we want him shooting the basketball, and he's proven over and over this year that he's willing and able to make tough shots in big situations. To win the game the way that you did, the, the grittiness, because it wasn't necessarily the, the best performance, but it was a, a tough, hard-fought game. How it can carry over for you now in this tournament? I really, I really liked our edge and our effort. We've been talking the last two, three weeks that maybe we lost that edge just a little bit. We've been playing hard, but you haven't had edge. I thought we had an edge tonight, and we weren't. That doesn't mean we were perfect defensively. I think offensively we struggled a little bit. Uh, but Coach Williams used to talk about you build momentum in a tournament once you get there. You don't build momentum by our tough road swing last week. You build momentum once you're here, and I think we have momentum. Now talking about tomorrow, uh, you don't know yet who you're going to play, Rice or Louisiana Tech, but does it really matter at this point in the season? It doesn't. It I mean, it really doesn't. I had a fan earlier today or yesterday asking, who do we want to play? Who? I don't care. I really don't. And uh, we've lost to both teams this year in two tough games. And uh, either way, we know we're going to have to play a great game. We're going to have to be inspired. And um, we're excited. And hopefully the crowd can come out and support us again. Good. Thank you. Congratulations.